I have two words for you today, and those are plant haul. I just added some new plants to my collection, and there's no one I'd rather share them with than you. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Cece with One Green Pea. I make videos about everything planty. I love to share plant tips and ideas, teach you about different plant varieties, and every now and again, I do a plant show and tell. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. Some time ago, I ran across a really amazing Instagram account. And when I found out that the creator of the account lives nearby, we began to chat and get to know each other. Well, come to find out that Lindsay's family is moving and she needs to get rid of the majority of her plant collection. Well, she is an amazing plant care person. And so I was only too happy to take on some of her plants and keep them in the state. Lindsay and I met up last week and I want to show you the four plants that I bought from her collection. Now, a couple of these have been long time wish list plants for me, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's jump in with plant number one. The first plant and one that has been on my wish list is this whale fin Sansevieria. Its botanical name is Dracaena masoniana. It is called the whale fin because it is a single leafed snake plant and it's known for its wide paddle-like appearance. Now these plants are very slow growing, but I read that they can get up to like eight feet tall. Now this guy's pretty small, so I don't think it's gonna get to that height anytime soon, but I'm really excited to have this in my collection. Snake plants are succulent-like plants, so they want their soil to dry out in between waterings, and they appreciate some good, strong, bright, indirect light. I know snake plants are well known for tolerating low light, but you're gonna find much better growth and uh, variegation if you give the plant ample light. I am going to give this guy a prized spot because I just think he looks so very cool. Another um, feature to note is that the leaf margins, if you can see that, they're kind of a ruby pink. And you know I love that color and how it um, coordinates so nicely with the dark and light green. Plant number two and another wish list plant is the Hoya Carii. This is called the sweetheart plant because of the sweetheart shaped leaves. Oftentimes you'll see this plant sold uh, as just a leaf, a rooted leaf in a really small pot and they're really sweet, but they really do nothing other than look cute until they die. I actually wanted a full plant and this is exactly what I got. So this plant is gonna vine um, just like other Hoyas and will continue to grow more leaves. You can see there's little bit, little leaf buds coming off of this tall vine. Now Hoyas, most Hoyas are succulent-like. You can feel the thick waxy leaves and so they're storing a lot of water so they don't want wet soil. They want to dry out completely between waterings and again like a lot of um, light. So again I'm going to give this guy bright indirect light, probably put him with mm, the other Hoyas from my collection. This is the Hoya Carii full plant. Plant number three is the philodendron tangerine. This is a new variety of philodendron to me, and actually a new variety to everyone because it is a relatively new hybrid. Uh, it is known for its pale orange leaves as they um, are new and emerge. You can see some new growth that is happening right there, kind of this pale tangerine color. Now I have a philodendron Prince of Orange. 
That's this guy, and you can see its newest leaf is quite orange. Now they are somewhat different in, obviously, size, because this one is smaller, but um, the leaf shape is slightly different, and then again, the coloration is different as well. So I'm really excited to get to know this variety and have it in my collection as well. My fourth new plant is this Ficus ruby, Ficus elastica ruby. I am so excited to have this plant. I've really wanted one for a long time. So the ruby is a variegated form of the ficus burgundy. And you can see the variegation, pretty strong variegation in this plant. Newer leaves come in um, strongly, like a strong coral color and then begin to express a little bit more of the creamy variegation as they get older. So this plant is super special because Lindsay got it as a rescue and she specializes in ficus plants. And so she did a lot with this plant with pinching and um, encouraging new growth points. And it is a marvelous specimen. Now, key to the health and vibrancy of a plant like this with um, extreme variegation is a lot of light. Remember from my last video I just did on light levels, I'll link it, uh, variegated plants need more light because they have a harder time photosynthesizing, they have less chlorophyll. So in order to maintain this vibrant color, it needs to have a lot of light or else it'll start to revert back just to a darker green shade. So I'm gonna give this guy some bright light and um, I just can't wait to see what happens in the growth that comes. There you have it, the newest plants in my collection. Comment below and let me know if you have any of these or perhaps which one is on your wish list. As always, thank you so much for watching my video and staying connected through your likes and your comments and um, subscribing and sharing my channel as well. Until next time, my plant friends, let's keep growing together a greener world.